using a web-based file manager is another way to edit, delete, upload, manipulate, change permissions of files on your remote web server. This is a Bluehost.com control panel, but a lot of them look similar to this. Somewhere in your control panel, you'll find a spot that says File Manager. When it loads, it often looks something like this. On the left side, you can see a picture of your directory structure, and on the right side, the contents of the directory that you're currently in. You can usually double click to drill into folders. It's often back buttons or up one level buttons. And there's a lot of things you can do from within a file manager, although one thing you you can't do is upload an entire folder at one time. To upload a file, click Upload. Then choose a file from your computer. And let the file manager upload it. When you're done, you'll see that your new file has been added to your remote web server. Now, you can change its name by clicking Rename. You can also edit the file in most file managers. And importantly, you can change the permissions. If you want to delete a file or folder, just click the delete button. You can also move whole folders or files into other folders. There I just moved the gossip folder inside a blog. So if I double click into the blog folder, you'll see that now gossip is inside. If you need to download a file, Click on the file you want to download and click the download button. There's more things you can do with a web-based file manager than that, but that's the basics. All file managers look a little bit differently, but usually they're similar to the one I've shown you here.